Hello and welcome to this special Halloween makeover. This one is based on Wednesday Addams from the Addams Family. It's actually based off the newer Netflix version, um, which will be out soon. So I'm using this Bratz doll that I found in my local flea market. Um, she looks kind of cute. Uh, I also found this goblet in the local flea market. I actually got it for like one pound, I think. Uh, I really, really like it. I'm going to use it to boil her head. I used the boiling method for this Bratz doll uh, because she's got a really, really big head and a really thin neck. So I'm just about to pop off her head and yep, she came off really, really easy, just like that. So yeah, the method works. I'm now cutting off her, all her hair and I'm quite lucky because Wednesday has black hair. So there's this doll, so she's got black roots. So I don't need to do anything like coloring like I normally would have to do. Now I use a flat head screwdriver to take all the hair out like the, from the inside. Uh, but this doll head's really, really hard. So I am putting the head back into the boiling hot water uh, to see if it works. And surprisingly, it doesn't make a difference because it's a really, really hard head. But I get it all done. She looks kind of good. Now I'm going to clean up her face. So I'm using acetone to get rid of all the makeup. Uh, I try and avoid the roots because that's good for the hair that I'm going to use. Now she's all pretty for rerouting. So I use the awl to make the holes bigger, uh, especially with this doll head. It's so, so stiff that I do need to keep going back and forth with the holes because they close up really easily. Uh, and I am forcing through, as you can see, I am forcing through the hair through the, the holes. Um, I'm actually have to do it twice and this happens quite a lot but once they're in they're secure. So with this doll the hair is really really thick that I'm using so I'm actually just doing the middle and the edges and the front and I'm actually tied it back here so you can't see how long it is but the hair is really really long um, and so that's why I've tied it up because it's just getting in the way. Now I'm preparing to paint her face I'm just covering up her hair for protection so I am basing this doll off the new Netflix series called Wednesday, which is coming out. Um, it has, it's not out yet when I'm making this video, but it'll be out soon. I guess they're going to release it for Halloween. Uh, and it's based on um, Wednesday going to um, school, I think it is. Uh, and it looks really, really good. And the makeup is done slightly differently from the classic movies. Uh, this one, it, she has hair uh, down to her eyes. Um, she's got slight dark eyes. Uh, eye bags as well that's what I'm doing here I'm uh, making sure that she has this kind of like dark scary look I didn't want to give her too much eyeshadow I didn't want to give her makeup I didn't want to give her big black eyes which is kind of what I've been doing for the last two dolls if you've been watching my videos um, and and actually what I realized is that a lot of these Halloween characters they all have like white faces and dark eyes so that's why I want to give her something a bit different and that's why I'm basing this one off the, the girl that is playing the new Wednesday film um, and she actually has no eye colour or anything it's just pure black uh, which is what I'm going for uh, I'm trying to keep the face look really really simple because Wednesday is meant to be a girl so she's not meant to have like loads of makeup She's I don't think she has any makeup to be honest um, but so I'm trying to keep it quite natural quite moody still um, just like the movie not movie sorry the film um, so yeah I'm trying to give this kind of deadpan kind of look which she has she has freckles as well which I thought was really cute and I think this is the first time I've ever done freckles um, and I'm gonna do them again I think I went a bit heavy-handed here but they're quite fun to do with the lips I want to give her kind of a deep natural color um, so that's why I'm toning it down a bit here just give it a base coat and then I'm highlighting at the edges but I think it turned out really, really good. I'm really, really happy with her face. Now, um, now that face is all done, I'm, I'm taking all this clean film off and I'm about to start on the hair. Uh, I'm clipping up the fringe because I need to do all that later. And I'm just going to tie it and now you can see how long it is. The hair is really, really long. This is the longest hair I've ever done for any doll. Um, actually, it's so long that when I want to come to plait it, I need to put it between my legs. So uh, I'm sorry, this is not the prettiest thing that you're seeing. Uh, but you know sometimes you just you know you've got to do it um, so yeah she's got really really long plaits but they've turned out really really well now I'm protecting her face with some more clean film ready to do the next phase I'm just using a hairband to just hold the fringe down so I'm using a wet cloth and an iron to steam down the hair uh, you can use hot water if you wanted to as well just pure hot water um, but it kind of worked see nice and flat uh, and now I'm just trimming it I'm kind of doing it in slow phases because I can't really see how high I'm going uh, I want it kind of just above the eye line uh, just kind of where bit you know just below her eyebrows I am actually shaving with shaver because I wanted it really really smooth really really straight um, so yeah and 
I think she looks great. I, I really like this hair. I really like the whole look. Yay! So I'm just giving it a bit of a clean because it is kind of grubby. I'm just using a wet wipe for that. Uh, and then I will use this fabric to make the dress. So I'm starting off by tracing off the body onto some tracing paper uh, just to get a good shape and size for it. Um, but things like this happens. And this happens a lot more than you might think when you do a doll makeover. Uh, but anyway, I carry on. So I'm tracing the body onto the tracing paper and making sure I've got the main features. So I've got the hips, I've got the elbow, um, I've got the bust, and I'm just tracing out a nice simple shape. Uh, and then I'm gonna try it out and make sure that it's okay. Cause with these patterns, you kind of have to make sure and it's not too bad, just some minor tweaks. Uh, so now with all the pieces, I'm starting to sew them. Uh, and for this design, I'm just trying to do something similar to the film. So I'm not trying to do anything different or anything new. I'm actually just trying to replicate it. So once I've sewn all the top pieces and I've sewn all the skirt pieces together, I joined them at the waist. And then I also attach Velcro to the back and I will have a lovely little dress like this. So if you have a, any dresses with sleeves on, uh, and you've got dolls with pointy hands like this one, I recommend you tape the hands over with some masking tape. Uh, it really helps putting the arms through the sleeve. Uh, and if you've watched the films, you would know that at, um, Wednesday has a little doll, uh, a headless doll like her, um, which this kind of looks like now. Um, if you watch the films, you know what I mean. This is kind of what it looks like. It looks like this headless doll that she carries around with her. So now I'm putting the head and the body together. Uh, this is my favorite part and also my, one of the most nerve wracking because I never know what it looks like. So this is what I started off with, a Bratz doll uh, that I got from the flea market and I turned it into Wednesday Adams. So if you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any tips, please leave them in the comments. Um, and yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Yeah.